We need systems analysis in order to model how all people, technologies and policies play together in the transport system. One way to address this challenge is to zoom down to a local subsystem like a city district or a big workplace like a company where we know lots of travel volumes are generated, in particular during peak hours. At an organizational level, we could set up targets for employee travel and model conditions for target achievement in a very concrete way. Travel policies could be defined so that resource-efficient travel is part of the organization's sustainability agenda. During doctoral research at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, a model called Zero was developed to do just this. Assist companies, municipalities and other organizations in reaching climate travel targets in consistency with economic payoff and employee acceptance. In the Zero model, indicators are used to prioritize strategies that comply with both emission targets, economic profitability and improved work environment for the employees. The Zero model defines all feasible ways of reaching CO2 reductions in an organization. Based on travel data from employee present commuting and business travel, a feasible target scenario can be derived, showing future employee travel behavior that comply with target achievement according to employee preferences and in the most cost-efficient way possible. Formulating travel plans for meeting future emission and cost reduction targets involves more than just providing company leadership with an accurate basis for decision making. It is also important to foster consensus and mutual understanding among all decision makers involved in the planning process. The Zero process involves a specifically designed software tool that guides the group of decision makers through the vital steps towards a well-adapted travel plan. There are a number of potential benefits why organizations might consider travel planning. One is to be foresighted and prevent risks with unstable energy prices and travel costs in the future. Another is to provide with good accessibility and communication alternatives in order to reduce travel costs. A third is to save travel time and improve employee productivity. Or it could be to reduce employee stress and improve health conditions, indirectly affecting both work efficiency and number of sick days. And finally, to have a thoroughly constructed action plan for how to meet future sustainability targets, also in the transport sector, is a genuine way for companies and organizations to improve public relations